welcome, welcome. This is just a fun project. I'm going to introduce to you these neckline templates to a, a greater degree. They're just wonderful. And unlike the, did I say neckline? Neckline templates. Unlike the armhole templates, we took those right from the pattern and you could make those yourself. I did templates because I was seeing it done incorrectly. But these neckline templates will save you so much time. They'll save you trying to figure out whether it's one way or two way and trying to figure out how long the band would be. I've said it many times, a pattern can't be made for one way and two way stretch because you have to choose one or the other. But you should be able to change your fabrics around and with the neckline template you can do just that because every neckline, all three necklines, have an option of one way stretch and two way stretch. And then it also tells you to take the stretch of the fabric and stretch from five to seven or five to eight and you'll know which fabric to use. So in this, particular fat, in this particular case, what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a v-neck that went under other things, under capes, just under shirts, just under everything. And so with that in mind, I made the following decisions and I'm going to walk you through and it's just going to be a little bit of fun. So we started with 195. Yep, that's one, this is 195. This is your true tried and true the sweater set, you love it, you've made it many times, it fits, but now you're just going to change it and put a v-neck on it. That's it. And so what I'm going to do is first look at the fabric, and this is this winter white cotton stretch, beautiful fabric, cotton. So my base layer is cotton, which you all know is wonderful and warm. It has stretch in one direction that's more than stretch in the other direction, so I call this a one-way stretch. Just because it has stretch, like it doesn't have that much, I called it a one-way stretch. And I'm going to show you a series of pictures. Again, the main reason I did this is to wear it under capes. And because or capes and, and all, coats and just all kinds of things. So the, that's the first reason I wanted a v-neck. I have turtlenecks. 125 is what the sew along is going to be on Tuesday. And that's a great turtleneck for all these things. But these will be your other necklines that you want. And then also I made a little thumb hole, and I'm going to show you how to make that little thumb hole. And I love it because when you're putting a sleeve in sleeve, you don't have to hold the bottom of your sleeve. It's all done for you. I love it. Okay, so let's look at the cutout of this. I laid out the front, and then you can see I took the front. This is a V-neck now. The three necklines you get are the crew neck or jewel neck, a scoop neck, and then a V-neck. And the V-neck... I had a company that was, a, it's a sportswear company, and they were on Fit to Stitch. And the V-neck, there's two ways to do a V-neck. There's a dart, and then there's actually pre-cut pieces. And most of the time a dart is used, like even by Armani, because it is so, um, it's just the variables are a little simpler. But in this case, I wanted to do a seam in the front, and I'll show it to you in just a minute. But the neckline template is cut differently. The, the band, the template for the band, is actually pre-cut with the V in the middle. But you can't do that when you're not sure of the stretch of the fabric, so it can be done and ready to wear, but it's harder to do it in a pattern. So I've introduced that template that has the actual seam in the front. It's not a dart, and again, I'll show you where I'm coming from on that. So we're going to cut out the front and we're going to lay the template down and the two points are going to be A, which is the base of the neck, and B, which is its center front. That's the front. The back, we're going to do the same thing. A is at the base of the neck, B is at center back. Okay? And then, of course, we everything else would be the same. The only thing changing are those two points. Then I just determine, and the templates have directions on whether it's a one-way stretch or two-way stretch, and I cut out my template, which I did that. It has directions on how to sew all of this, so I did that. Then the next thing I want to show you is the sleeve. When I made this little thumb, this is in cutting out, I added five inches. And there's a couple different ways to do this little add-on cuff. You can do different ways. This was the simplest, so this is why I chose this way. You're going to add five inches in. Then when you go to sew the sleeve, you'll come in two inches, and that's for a one-inch hem. Give stability here. You'll leave three inches open and then sew up the rest of the way. Or if you, whichever direction you sew. Start by sewing two inches, skip three inches for the thumb hole, and then sew the rest of the way. And then when you hem it, you automatically get this cute little hole, and it's in this seam, so it's right where your thumb comes down. It's just ingenious. All right, so that's the cutting out process. Then we go to sewing, and again, it has directions for how to sew it, but I wanna show you what it looks like the V 
with the seam at the center front, and this picture shows that. And the reason you want to do this one with a seam is because it's a wider band and it will lay flatter and smoother when it has a seam there as opposed to having a dart. So that's the best reason I can tell you as to why a dart is used over a seam. It depends on the width of the band and it depends on the stretch of the fabric. But we've got two options for you. You've got one way and two way stretch. Then this is another picture of the finished band and you can see it's just pretty. It just lays really pretty and again that's just a sweater set and then of course you're free to wear it under whatever works for you. And then I want to show you one final picture and that's just the little thumb coming out of the thumb hole. <laughs> All right so this is just fun easy way to change your necklines and have a great time. The goal is to have happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.